Now, introducing the latest in advanced HIV testing, AuraQuick Advance. AuraQuick Advance offers the only FDA-approved rapid HIV-1 and HIV-2 antibody test for oral fluid, finger stick whole blood, venipuncture whole blood, and plasma samples. Now, testing for HIV-1 and HIV-2 antibodies can be administered with the ease and convenience of oral fluid, and the results are greater than 99% accurate. It's fast, simple, with results in 20 minutes. Or a quick advance. Results right here, right now. The OraQuick Advance Rapid HIV-1-2 antibody test allows you to take action now because its breakthrough technology is easy to use and extremely accurate. This test involves just a few hands-on steps and the results are read directly from the device. You don't need any special lab equipment to perform the test or read the results. The assay is read visually and is meant to be used as a point-of-care test to aid in the diagnosis of HIV-1 and HIV-2. Aura Quick Advance is a qualitative in vitro immunoassay that detects HIV-1 and HIV-2 antibodies in oral fluid, plasma, finger stick, and venipuncture whole blood specimens. This demonstration is focused on providing step-by-step -step instructions on how to perform the test for oral fluid and finger stick whole blood. Venipuncture whole blood and plasma samples may also be used with the Aura Quick Advanced Rapid HIV-1 and 2 antibody test by using standard phlebotomy procedure and collecting a whole blood sample. Venipuncture whole blood may be collected in any of the following anticoagulant test tubes, EDTA, sodium heparin, sodium citrate, and ACD solution A. Plasma may be collected in an EDTA test tube only. For more detailed instructions on use with a venipuncture whole blood and plasma, please refer to the AuraQuick Advanced Package Insert. With each case of test kits, you will receive the following items. A customer letter, product insert, subject information pamphlets, reusable test stand, collection loops for use with plasma, finger stick, and venipuncture whole blood samples, pouched assays including a developer solution vial, and a test device. Each test device has a porous flat pad, which is placed into the developer vial and a test strip that can be seen through the result window. Kit controls for the AuraQuick Advanced Test are also available separately. They consist of three vials, an HIV-1 positive control, an HIV-2 positive control, a negative control, and a product insert. The kit control should be stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius which is 35 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Kit controls are run under the following circumstances. Each new operator prior to performing testing on patient specimens. When opening a new test kit lot. Whenever a new shipment of test kits is received. If the temperature of the test kit storage area falls outside of 2 to 27 degrees Celsius, which is 35 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. If the temperature of the testing area falls outside of 15 to 37 degrees Celsius, 59 to 99 degrees Fahrenheit, and at periodic intervals as dictated by the user facility. The following items are required but are not included as part of your test kit. A timer, a clean disposable absorbent workspace cover, and a biohazard waste container. Additional items required for finger stick and venipuncture whole blood collection and plasma specimens include latex, vinyl, or nitrile disposable gloves, antiseptic wipes, sterile lancet or standard phlebotomy materials, sterile gauze pads, and centrifuge to process plasma specimens. Make sure you have received training on how to safely handle potentially infectious blood and body fluids before performing the finger stick or venipuncture collection procedure on a patient. Oral fluid is not necessarily potentially infectious unless it contains blood. Use of gloves for oral fluid is optional. Test administrators with breaks in the skin, cuts, abrasions, or dermatitis should wear gloves when performing oral fluid testing. Wash hands thoroughly after performing each oral fluid test and after contact with oral fluid. Prior to beginning the testing procedure, 
provide the patient with the included subject information pamphlet that contains important information about HIV AIDS and the Aura Quick Advanced Rapid HIV-1-2 antibody test. This test may be stored between 2 and 27 degrees Celsius, which is 35 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. However, you should allow the test kit to come to operating temperature, 15 to 37 degrees Celsius, 59 to 99 degrees Fahrenheit, before it is used. Make sure there is adequate lighting where the test is being conducted. Set the reusable test stand on a flat level surface covered with a clean disposable absorbent workspace cover. Tear open the two chambers of the divided foil patch containing the test device and developer solution vial. Remove the vial. To prevent contamination, leave the test device in the pouch until you are ready to use it. Carefully uncap the vial by gently rocking the cap back and forth while pulling it off. Set the cap on your workspace cover. Slide the uncapped vial into the stand. Be sure not to force the vial into the stand as splashing may occur. Have the person being tested remove the test device from the pouch by the handle, making sure the flat pad is not touched. Check to see that an absorbent packet is present. If no absorbent packet is present, discard the device and obtain a new pouch for testing. Direct the person to place the flat pad above the teeth against the outer gum. The person should swab completely around the outer gums, both upper and lower. Both sides of the flat pad may be used. Do not allow the person to swab the roof of their mouth, inside of cheek, or the tongue. Instruct the person being tested to insert the flat pad of the device into the vial, making sure the device reaches all the way to the bottom of the vial. The device must remain in the vial for the duration of the test. Pink fluid will appear and travel up the result window and will eventually disappear. Results may be read after 20 minutes, but not after more than 40 minutes. The following demonstration will demonstrate proper use of AuraQuick Advance with a finger stick whole blood sample. The first step is to cleanse the patient's middle or fourth ring finger with an antiseptic alcohol wipe. Let it completely air dry or wipe it dry with a clean gauze pad or cotton ball. In the area just off center of the finger pad, use a sterile lancet to puncture the finger. Discard the used lancet in the sharps container. Gently express a small amount of blood. Wipe away the first drop of blood and express another droplet. Avoid excessive squeezing of the finger to make it bleed. Touch the round end of the specimen collection loop to the blood droplet. Inspect the collection loop to be sure the blood specimen is completely contained within the loop. Immerse the blood-filled collection loop without touching the sides of the vial all the way into the developer solution vial and stir gently. The solution should look pink if the sample was added correctly. Discard the used collection loop in a biohazard waste container. Remove the test device from the foil pouch. Check to see that an absorbent packet is present. If no absorbent packet is present, discard the device and obtain a new pouch for testing. Do not touch the flat pad of the device. Do not cover the two holes in the back of the device with labels or any other materials. Doing so may cause an invalid result. Insert the end with a flat porous pad all the way down into the developer solution vial. Make sure the flat pad touches the bottom of the vial. Be sure that the result window faces forward so it can be easily read. Start timing the test. Do not remove the test device from the vial until you have first read the test results. Read the test results after 20 minutes, but do not wait more than 40 minutes. The procedure for reading results is the same for all specimen types. If a single reddish purple line only appears on the test strip next to the triangle labeled C, the result is non-reactive. This means that no antibodies to HIV-1 or HIV-2 have been detected in the sample, and the result is interpreted as negative. If a reddish-purple line appears next to the triangle labeled C, and a reddish-purple line appears next to the triangle labeled T, the result is reactive, which suggests the presence of HIV-1 and or HIV-2 antibodies. Even if one of the lines appears darker than the other, it is still considered a reactive result. 
A reactive result means that antibodies to HIV-1 and or HIV-2 have been detected in the sample, and the result is interpreted as preliminary positive for HIV-1 and or HIV-2 antibodies. A preliminary positive result should be confirmed with an additional test before a patient can be conclusively diagnosed as HIV positive. People whose tests show either a negative or a preliminary positive result with the Oraquick Advanced Rapid HIV-1-2 antibody test need to receive counseling to help them understand what the result means to them. Proper counseling procedures should be administered. A test is invalid if no reddish purple line appears next to the C triangle. If any of the lines are not inside the C or T triangle areas, or if a red background in the result window makes it difficult to read the results after 20 minutes. An invalid test result means that there was a problem running the test, either related to the specimen or to the device. An invalid result cannot be interpreted. An invalid test should be repeated with a new test device, developer solution vial, and a new specimen, either an oral fluid, plasma, finger stick, or venipuncture whole blood sample. It is important to bear in mind that the Oraquick Advanced Rapid HIV-1-2 antibody test, like any test, has specific limitations. These include, the test must be used according to the instructions in the package insert, and is summarized in this program to obtain an accurate result. Reading the results earlier than 20 minutes or later than 40 minutes may lead to incorrect results. The test has been approved by the Food and Drug Administration for use with oral fluid, finger stick, and venipuncture whole blood and plasma specimens only. Use of other types of specimens may not yield accurate results. Individuals infected with HIV-1 or HIV-2 who are receiving highly active antiretroviral therapy, HART, may produce false negative results. Clinical data has not been collected to demonstrate the performance of the test in persons under 12 years of age. A reactive result using the test suggests the presence of HIV-1 and or HIV-2 antibodies in the specimen. The test is intended as an aid in the diagnosis of infection with HIV-1 and or HIV-2. AIDS and AIDS-related conditions are clinical syndromes, and their diagnoses can only be established clinically. For a reactive result, the intensity of the line in the T-zone does not necessarily correlate with the level of HIV-1 and or HIV-2 antibodies in the specimen. A non-reactive result does not necessarily rule out the possibility of exposure to HIV or infection with HIV. An antibody response to recent exposure may take several months to reach detectable levels. With AuraQuick Advance, you'll be providing your patients with the highest standard of care. Now, testing for HIV-1 and HIV-2 antibodies can be administered with the ease and convenience of oral fluid. And the results are greater than 99% accurate. It's fast, simple, with results in 20 minutes. Or a quick advance. Results right here, right now.